where we find our beauty, when we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. Welcome True everyone love to always Love Camp 2019 closing ceremony, my which is destiny. honestly a heartbreaking phrase to say. <laughs> However, we've had such a great week and it's all because of you participating and being here and bringing your magic oh. to the experience. So um, I want to give you an overview of what we're doing tonight. And the cool thing is that all you have to do is sit here and enjoy the amazing menu. Are you guys loving the menu? I love how we have special cocktails for all cabins and you can have them as mocktails and just so many really cool things. I'm going to put you on mute if you're not on mute just for the recording sake and if you notice you're not on mute just go ahead and do that. Here I got you. Um, Ta-da, ta-da. Okay so um, so yeah you know the the wait staff here can you believe the dining hall can transform like this? It's mm -hmm. like Wow. Um, we spent all day working on just decorating the dining hall and, and putting tablecloths on and and putting away the the you know the durable camp dishware <laughs> and bringing out the nice stuff. So um, this is all in celebration of you, you being you and you giving yourself this time and during a time of year when things can be challenging or triggering this is a gift we can give to you so we're so happy you're here mm -hmm. um and if you all haven't been at a vespers with larry or you missed the craft shop day um this is laser beam larry and Thank you for having me yeah. Night. Yeah, we're he's wearing his camp colors. Isn't that great? Um, so I just want to say some thank yous because there are so many people who have supported us. First of all, we have to thank our sponsor, Carl Johnson Insurance, and he is totally asleep. But I'm gonna nudge him and bring him into the picture. This is Carl Johnson of Carl Johnson Insurance. He believes in bundling. He mm -hmm. believes in bundling. He's got to save. Wait, yep, he wants you to save. He's here to protect you. As you can see, he's a protector. In fact, you know, when we first met Carl, um, his record was quite uh, racy. He was, he was very dangerous. He couldn't be adopted to anyone with children like any kind of children like if there were children still in the house you can see how dangerous he is so the good news is once when your insurance agent agent is dangerous they're going to do anything to help you save so thank you carl johnson insurance for our sponsor you're in good cause with carl johnson insurance. yeah yeah so so tonight, okay, so I, I was going to do the summary. I want to do that first, actually, and then we'll go into more thank yous. We just have to, we're obligated to reference our sponsor right out the gate. Um, thank you to Cindy Clark, Sea Otter Cindy, for being an amazing waterfront director this year, providing so Oh, <laughs> um, providing us with um amazing waterfront activities more than ever before thank you cindy for your awesome enthusiasm and for actually doing oh there's amber yeah for actually grilling too um yesterday i noticed you were down there grilling while we were already starting to transform the dining hall you did a nice little cookout down there for the campers for that intermittent time. Hey, Betsy, I see you're here. I'm so glad. Um, I also want to thank um, Amber. Amber's here. She is our camper 
who hails from Hawaii, who brought the Hawaiian magic for us for a free time activity down at the Luau Beach. And do your hips feel so good? I mean, after hulaing, I'm like, I, I recognize how much I sit and I need to move more. So thank you, Amber. Look at how beautiful you look in your Hawaiian spirit. So love that. And then I want to thank Carol, who I don't think Carol is here tonight, but Carol, who um, is a real live unicorn wrangler. And I know right now this is kind of a time of year when there's a lot going on at the farm. So I imagine she is taking care of them very well. But what an amazing unicorn ride we had with her and bringing the wisdom of that connection because you know that I am a big fan of unicorn love and that is beyond um, just that metaphor of creating something you never thought could exist is so powerful. And I learned so much for the unicorn ride. So if you haven't done the unicorn ride, go back and do it. And I want to say that about all the activities, please. You know, this, this space is for you. You know, I know I cram in a lot in a short period of time, but you can go back and do it. And you can also do things over again because the process that we're sharing, because Larry and I are both, um, teachers of this process called regenerating images and memory and whether you know you are doing it or not it doesn't matter it's about using the imagination to heal aspects of the subconscious so love camp is actually using this process and whether you know it or not it doesn't matter it's the imagination translates so much from our soul and there are things that um, we learn about ourselves just from accessing that space. So in each of the different magics that I presented this week in the love adventures, you got to, you got to reveal more and more about yourself. So, um, so that is good. I don't know why I was saying that exactly, but um, anyway, that is something you can go back to. So I just want you to know that. So tonight, um, who else am I thanking? I'm also thanking, I have a list. I'm also, I thanked Carol. Oh, I'm thanking you. Ah, craft shop director, <laughs> oops. <laughs> um, for being part of camp and leading some of the best first. And we can't forget about Scott who I don't think he's here tonight, but Scott was another Vespers director mm -hmm. who was supporting us in amazing music. Yeah, and sharing those songs. But I also wanna support three people who you may not be as aware of. One, our magical technical Lynn. Lynn is the one who coordinated with camp to create the menus with Waffle and she did a lot of things behind the scene that you probably aren't aware of. And that's what makes things amazing is to have a team. So Lynn is one. The other one is Jana, who is my intern. She is uh, the baby. I call her my little mini baby unicorn. She does a lot of stuff. She helped coordinate the raffle for Love Camp, but she does a lot more than that. And blessings to her father right now because he's not feeling so well so if you guys can send out some prayers that way that would be amazing um and lynn lynn's daughter's not feeling so great either so i put all of this stuff in our camp chapel prayers which we had a huge list of things so just know that those prayers were um sent out but the final one i want to celebrate I don't know if you can see this, but we made a special movie of Hank. Can you see it behind us? His face is cycling above our heads. <laughs> that is Hank. And he is, um, I think you want more Santa Claus, right? 
he well, does, but he, I don't, who's Santa again? Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, he's got a beard. He wears a red hat with a pom-pom on the end. He, he wears the camp maintenance uniform, which is all red with a nice black buckle. <laughs> Very classy look. Um, and he is, he does maintenance stuff. He <laughs> chops vegetables. He is behind the scenes. So if you ever, you know, there's so much that can be created um, behind the scenes. I like to think of him almost like the universe, you know? The universe is always working on our behalf. And so thanking him is like thanking the universe. So I'm inviting you to, um, because he's quite shy, he wasn't gonna show up here, so we made a movie of him, of his face, and we're cycling it around using a projector. And so, you will see him. You will see him in the world. So when you see him out in the world, white beard, you know, red dangly hat with a white pom pom, red suit. I think he has a part time coat. job at the mall. Often he he loves the mall. It's yeah. not a job. He just loves the mall. Well, you know, who doesn't? Spencer gifts. Okay. Um, everybody needs a lava lamp. So he is around. So will you do me a favor and will you please just say, when you see him say, thank you for love camp. And in your head, do the worthiness pledge line. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. So every time you see him, whether it's a rep, cause there's also kind of this weird underground, like kitschy thing where there's a lot of people slightly it's worshiping like a, it's him. Like a yeah, so there's like Hank fans everywhere. So even if you see a picture of him or a blow up statue of him, say, thank you, love camp. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Just let it be an instant thing. Raise your hand if you're in for that because I'm telling you, Hank could use a little bit of a um, ego boost. Okay, great. So. That is the thank yous for camp. So now I'd love to bring us into an integration practice because I promise it's not gonna take forever. Um, but it's really um, an opportunity for us to take this week, whatever you've done, not done, it's, this is not about making yourself wrong. It doesn't even matter. We're gonna do a mini practice right now to help you take camp home. So getting comfortable in your seat. And we have a couple campers who are a little rogue right now. Okay. Sit. Okay. Um, so getting comfortable in your seat and taking a couple deep breaths. As we just soak in being here, being at camp 2019, and no matter what has come up this week that has been distracting or whatever, just know that you got exactly what you needed from camp and that you can continue to receive it over the next couple days, weeks before the end of the year. And that this is about receiving right now. So as you breathe, just bringing your awareness to the camp sports field, bringing yourself as your imagination guides you knowing you can't do this right or wrong, this like every anything that shows up is perfect. We're just gonna take a visit back to the trampolines. And bringing your awareness back to the trampolines, you become aware of yourself bouncing as you receive the magic of possibility. And as you receive the magic of possibility, you are aware of the space that's beyond. 
the reality that you have been aware of, the reality that you're living, but also the reality that you thought was possible. So it's the possibility beyond the possibility that you get to sense right now in this moment. So right now in this moment, receiving the possibility beyond what you ever thought was possible and just sensing and receiving that now. And you just notice what it's like to be aware of that energy, space, and consciousness for you. And just as you're aware of that, just to be aware of it naturally soaking into you. And how good it feels to receive a greater possibility. And then bringing ourselves to day two of camp. And whether you went there or not, bringing yourself there now, bringing yourself to the waterfront, to the beach, and looking out and sensing being at the waterfront and being aware of all of the choices. So right now, awakening your magic of choice as you sense coming from the space of possibility where there are greater choices for you. And as the metaphor we use, all of the ways you can play in the water, you can swim, you can be courageous and die off, dive off the high dive, you can get back on the jet ski with Cindy and zoom, zoom, zoom around, or you can relax on a beach chair. This is the space of you choosing for you in each moment and feeling how good it feels to be aware of you having infinite possibilities in every moment and that you get to choose, that you are choosing in your life, you are choosing in relationship and experiencing right now that power of choice and taking a couple deep breaths in that and then on the next breath you arrive at the craft shop you arrive at the craft shop where you are experiencing the awareness of aspects that you know you want to change. And remembering back, if you already did the practice, to how that did evolve, transcend, transform for you. Whatever it was that arrived in the space where you got to see it evolve and just knowing that you are part of your choice from, from the waterfront is that you get to choose letting go. You get to choose to Notice what's not serving. Notice what is old habit and decide to let go. And just noticing how good it feels to know that the things that aren't working, you don't have to keep. And then taking a couple breaths to arrive in the yoga studio where on day four, we just relaxed into the floor where our body and our imagination guided us to places within us that 
we're longing to be acknowledged. We're longing to be celebrated. Those things that you hadn't celebrated that now in celebrating them, you experience greater. The places where there have been aspects of you that you may have been avoiding or denying or afraid to look at, that now you get to look at and give it the space to transform. So in the acknowledgement, we get to create more. And then arriving on day, on the last day of camp at campfire, where we turned on, we received the magic of receiving, where we turned up the volume for receiving using the mantra, I receive love from everything. Wa he guru. I receive love from everything. Wa he guru. Saying it out loud with me. I receive love from everything. Wa he guru. 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 And just feeling what it feels like to realize that the universe and experiences and people that come into your li life are here to contribute to you. That all of the campers in your cabin were contributing to you, the entire camp was contributing to you, that even the annoying things that come up somehow contribute to you. And being able to move beyond what we can think with our mind to having the energy space and consciousness that can receive more and more and more and more than ever before. And how good it feels to know that you are supported and feeling that support and just arriving here as we integrate all of the magic, the magic of possibility, the magic of choice, the magic of letting go, the magic of acknowledgement and celebrating you and the magic of receiving in this year's camp of creating magic and feeling the gratitude and the appreciation within you for being able to have this now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Universe, thank you. Divine, thank you. All campers, thank you. Staff, thank you. Mother Nature, thank you. Cosmos and all things for bringing us here together. And so it is. Mm -hmm. And as you gently come back into the space, knowing that you're different than before, really sensing right now the difference that is you, whether you are showing up on this call and haven't even experienced the love adventures yet or not, it doesn't matter. You're here receiving and just by being here, you are different than you were before a week ago, a day ago, three days ago, five minutes ago. And really, really give yourself that because this is what creates change in your life. So celebrating yourself for that 
I just want to say that this is really a special time of year for me personally. I don't know if you saw my post, but this 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 time of year, 11 years ago, was when I created and where I made a decision, the most powerful decision really of, of my life, which was to do things differently in relationship. And I did that because I acknowledged, I recognized, I acknowledged that what was happening in my love life was not what was in my heart. And it wasn't what I've been wanting to create. And I'd been waiting and desiring and wanting and hoping and praying that something would change. And it hadn't. I mean, I remember from age 25 thinking, okay, I really want to have a special person to share my life with. And it was years and years and years and years. So, so I am saying this because I know that this is an important part of the magic formula for change is making a decision to do things differently. And I shared my story about doing that and coming to a point where I said, I'm going to do what it takes. And I did. I, I hired a, a love coach who supported me. She, she, this was before I even knew about love coaches, but she was a coach and it was really helpful. And I did a lot of inner work. You know, I did practices specifically around relationship healing. And that is what I've put together in Love Muffin, which is my coaching program. So, so everything that I know works plus even more I've put together in the Love Muffin coaching program. So I'm sharing this with you because I know that many of you are not going to want to leave Love Camp and I don't want you to leave Love Camp. I, my prayer was Love Camp all year round. And so you are, that is possible. So although it's not intense like Love Camp and maybe a smidge fewer shenanigans, but I'm all for shenanigans, um, that you can be a part of that if you desire. And that takes all of this to a personal level, to a deeper level that says, okay, if you want to go from single to meaningful love, you can. And we do, you know, regenerating images memory and one-on-one -on -one coaching and we talk about you know really the science of relationship and all of the things that that are needed because there there's not just dating there's preparing to date which is phase one of love muffin and then there's dating in an authentic way because i know that you guys well any of you ladies could have a date that's not a problem this is about unicorn love this is about having the love you never thought could exist but it does and so you know if you want to date you don't need me you know you guys are awesome you don't need me for that just a couple margaritas with some girlfriends and you you don't want to have a date but i know you want something more soulful than that and that is that is why i've created this program because it really is a spiritual playful path to love and I also believe in that. I believe that it's about playing into love. I feel like that's been a big part of our relationship is playing. And, you know, many times you will see things that sound really intense or painful, like, you know, therapy, like barfing up your childhood and having to, you know, basically re-traumatize yourself, which I don't recommend or making change and change can happen so fast um so if that is something that you really want to do i am inviting you i'm inviting you personally to reach out to me so that we can have a conversation about what that could do for you because i am 
opening up Love Muffin for five women in 2020. And yeah, is it an investment? Yes, it's an investment of time. It's an investment of your heart. It's an investment of money. And so there are things to think about. But if, if you just know you want to create more, then let's talk about it. Because I want to see if it's a fit for you. And I love all of you. And I... Can, I can't say more about what it's like to have someone who has your back. What would you say about that? Yeah. <clears throat> well, you know, by the time we had met, I'd been divorced for three years. And, Speak up. And coming to realizations about what my place was in the relationship not working out and starting to do retreats and meditating regularly and and just getting a better sense of who i was and what i wanted and what i was looking for and that's when i met you so mm -hmm. i think definitely doing some focused work on really thinking about um what went wrong in the past what my part to play was what i'm looking for all that you know, just really, really going inward and, and doing that work. Yeah, so many, some of you may be able to relate to relationships not working out. I know I w hadn't been married before, but I had a couple of relationships that totally face planted. So, you know, the cool part about this is that I know that it's easy to think, oh, well, you know, um, it should just happen or, you know, we shouldn't have to do something to create this. But you know what? If you really want something, if you really value something, it's worth doing something. Because the thing that I also noticed was that, you know, my desire, my love story that I had always dreamed about was also Larry's love story. So it wasn't just mine. My choice, you know, 11 years ago today to, to choose something different actually was part of fulfilling your love story. Mm -hmm. So remember that you're not, it's just, it's not like a selfish thing or a frivolous thing. This is, this is something that, you know, really matters in love. And I mean, in life and as being a human on this planet, is there's something really amazing that can be created when you're supported by another. So I just wanted to share that with you and make sure you know that this doesn't have to end and you are all invited um, to have a conversation about this so that we can see what is possible because, you know, I want your 2020 to be all that you can have and I'm excited for you. So, so that is that. So now, I want to share with you something so special that I created for us. And I'm going to share my screen. And um, oh my gosh, there's so many comments and I didn't get to look yet. I am going to look. But I'm going to share my screen because you guys have made Love Camp so phenomenal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, I just don't even know what to say about this, but this is this, I'm gonna share my screen. This is a special closing ceremony slideshow that includes all of you. Um, so one moment for me to technically make this happen. Um, okay, here we go. Get your popcorn. Oh, get your tissues, get your tissues. Here we go and share. And Thank you. 
Thank you everyone for that. It's so fun having you all here. How was that? I hope you could hear something. Oh my gosh, the tiki. <laughs> okay, so I am going to post that in the group. So I'm hoping that um, if for some reason you couldn't hear the sound, all of our camp songs were on there. Um, I'm seeing, maybe you'll tell me. Kick in the pants, <laughs> Natalie says. Thank you, oh good. Love it, okay. Sounds were a bit, yeah, so that's okay. Uh, Cindy, let me know if there was any volume on that, I'm just curious, um, besides me talking. Um, anyway, so, oh good, Amber said that was on. The sound was sketchy. That's probably because I didn't actually share the sound part, so I forgot about that part. But um, I will post it, but do listen to it again so you can hear the songs because it was fun. Okay, so um, anyway, now it's time to do our raffle. Yay! So we have, I am, I am giving three one-on-one -on -one private readings, intuitive love coaching readings, which is kind of cool because it's kind of the combination of a laser coaching and a reading at the same time, because you can bring a question. So um, they're short, but when it's just you, it's actually quite long compared to the live ones that we did. So we're gonna um, go ahead and pick from the hat, Okay, you pick, hand it to me, and then right down. So we're picking first for a love reading, intuitive love reading. And this one goes to Susan, Susan M. Waffle yeah. Professor. Yay! <laughs> Susan has an amazing dog training program, which we sent Waffle to. Um, and so I have you down, you'll get information on that later. Yay, second one is Jenny. Jenny, who owns Stuart, who was my friend at camp and got me in a lot of trouble, if you all didn't notice how that all went down. Um, Jenny, are you here? Comment if you are. And then another reading goes to up oh, repeat. Sorry, I don't know. We have two Susans in there. Oh, and what? Um, Stephanie L. Steph she's here. Stephanie, so you get. <laughs> a Dead Old Lady Secret Recipe Tarot reading. And then we have one, I put this down because you guys sounded like you wanted it, um, is Coffee with Carl. And so, hey, who knows, we can chat about that. Sandrine, 
Sandrine, who made that really amazing paintings. So you get coffee with Carl, which is also a um, a mini mini coaching. But um, and then the final one, you know what? Let's do another dead old lady reading. Lisa G, Lisa Gerke, who sung um, for Talent Show. So she gets a love reading. And then the final thing, which I know a lot of you already have this, so this may not work out, but we'll just do Cindy, you already have this. You already have the, you already have the, um, you know what? You get a reading because you're waterfront director. What's going on? Um, yay, Christine S. Christine, is there a Christine S? <laughs> Christine, I know who this is. Christine, are you here? I'm just curious. I don't see you here, but um, Christine, you get a dead old lady reading too. Oh no, you get the toolkit. Actually, I don't think you have that. So that's cool. All right, that makes sense. So perfect, yay. So um, agenda, close. Okay, so let's close with I thought we could close with the worthiness pledge, of course, and the Love Camp song. And I just want to say thank you so much for making Love Camp possible. And I also want to say, will you do me a favor? Because Love Camp is my sort of service that I like to offer the community during this time of year. And as you know, I am a love coach. This is my business. This is my work in the world. Will you tell people, tell friends who you hear are like, I can't believe love isn't happening for me. Oh my God, when is it going to change? Will you say, hey, I know someone and her name is the Reverend Lunch Lady <laughs> or Macy and, and send them over to me because I'm happy to talk with anyone who wants to change their life because you know what? We what does the world need more right now? Love. Yeah, the planet, all of us, as we rise and bring our vibration up in love, we are creating more peace. We are, we are changing consciousness. So this isn't, this isn't, oh, I want a boyfriend or I want a girlfriend. It doesn't, this isn't about that. This is about something even greater because when you are in love, and when you are seen by another and when you are in this space that is such a powerful transformational space being in relation with another i mean larry and i have experienced so many different hurdles you know from health issues from just fear from you know me being me and the crazy stuff that comes up when you're just you know vulnerable then but because we are supporting each other and we have that foundation which is the third phase of love muffin by the way creating a foundation for happy healthy lasting love which requires communication which requires deeper level of intimacy and vulnerability which requires a, a lot that we need to learn you know how many times have i felt like a failure because i didn't know these things and so I want you to know these things. I want you to know from, you know, healing yourself from date to dating to actually creating the foundation of healthy, happy love. That is possible. So, so I'm really serious about this. And what will change if you, if you go on your own, you know, you know that it, it's helpful to have support because you experience change like this this week. I know so many of you have shared that. And um, if you didn't, then let's talk about that too, because I wonder how we can help you really receive this more. So, so reach out to me, message me or email me at Macy at Big Happy Love, or just go to my website, 
and click on the help me find love and apply to be a part of love muffin because i would love all of you there honestly but i'm only one person so for the private coaching there is a limit of people that can do that and but i do have five openings for january and this is the time to apply so um so if it's you or if it's you sharing with another I am so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for all that you um, can do to spread the word and to create more unicorn love relationships on the planet. You get to be ambassadors for that. So um, I'm gonna post the winners and let's, let's close our beautiful ceremony with our worthiness pledge and singing the love camp song together and then i hope you all join me in having i'm gonna have one of each dessert whatever i'm gonna get one of each we have we get to share you know if anyone wants to share some stuff actually what am i talking about i'm pretending like i share dessert <laughs> do i share dessert you don't share. i never share dessert no you get your own damn dessert right like that is <laughs> That's reasonable. So, you know, that's the other thing about unicorn love. Like, what is it that you need that's for you? I need someone who can get their own damn dessert because girlfriend not sharing. So, um, okay. So bringing your right hand up into the W, remembering that this is the pledge of, of claiming you as the thing that the world needs, that you in all that is you is what, who your beloved is looking for. So there's nothing to like try to become or change. This is about melting anything that keeps you from that. And that's what this worthiness pledge is, is bringing you to the you in you. And so let's do that. We bring the W to our heart, you to you, and bring your hand over it and we'll use the mantra, I am worthy of love, I choose love, now, 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 which is also the same thing that you're gonna say in your head when you see Hank out on the street, remember Hank? You see him and you're like, thank you, love camp. Inside you're like, thank you, love camp. And then you're like, I am worthy of love, I choose love, now, now, now. Just a reminder, because that will take you really far. Um, so bringing your hand on your heart, and then we'll start out loud, then whisper, then silent, and then whisper, then out. Join together. One, two, three, begin. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Whisper. I choose love now, now, now. Silent. Whisper, I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, 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 out loud. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. One more time. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. Feel it. Receive it. Let it soak into every cell of your being, receiving that through you, that connection to you with your W on your heart, like feeling that soaking in. As it soaks into your heart, your heart pumps it throughout. And it's just a remembrance. This isn't coming from lack. This is coming from awareness and acknowledgement and remembering what is true that you are worthy of love now. And how good it feels to know that your worthiness is part of the oneness of all that are here. So feeling not only that sense within you, but feeling that connected energy of love that is this love camp community and beyond. You're beyond all that 
the angels and unicorns and fairies and beings that are supporting you on your path and allowing yourself to have this worthiness that helps you recognize the support and the synchronicity and the magic and the miracles that are showing up, that are answering your prayers for love. And so it is. And then bringing one, your right hand to your heart, bringing your left hand behind the heart of the sister or brother <laughs> next to you. And we'll close with one round of the Love Camp song and begin. Love Camp, where we find our beauty when we're worthy that's when we attract true love is always within us when i trust it it's my destiny my destiny love you all is there anything anybody wants to share before we close our circle feel free to unmute yourself if you want to share something before we go looks like betsy might be coming on hi betsy hi i just wanted to share that i realized during the um wonderful memory lane week presentation it was fabulous i just realized i missed out on spending time with larry <laughs> so i'm gonna go back if that's you know it's like this stuff is going to be available for a while right yeah. i'm gonna go back and hang out with larry oh, hi wow. larry <laughs> yeah yeah he was there for the um monday night vespers and the thursday night vespers and he was um, a magical presence for the craft shop, which we didn't always, we didn't hear his voice necessarily, but he, he was holding down the fort there. And in fact, I made these little uh, pipe cleaner hair doolies at the craft right. shop this morning. Thank you. Well, it, it took me all week to find out how to use the um, Facebook Live. <laughs> you are here though i'm so happy and so grateful you're here thank, thank you Kelsey. so excited to meet more of you anyone else want to share there's gail she's unmuted I, are you planning on talking I, I just love you and i love you all and this has been wonderful I'm so glad you're here. You are an amazing first time camper and look at how cute you are. <laughs> well, it was a lot of fun and really special and really spiritual. I am nice so glad you were there. Look at, oh my God, which one is that? What's her name? That's Kizzy. Oh, ah, Kizzy. I want to okay. Thanks yes. to all y'all. Oh, Tara, yay. You're welcome. So glad you're here. I love your, you made such cool ceramics in the craft shop. She made that amazing snowman. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. Love Very So many. Big hug. Big hug back too. Yeah. Awesome. I wanted to say thanks. I'm just getting in the swing of things. Like I'm actually interacting with Cindy and who have you. And um, I just, Macy, you and Larry, you guys are such natural teachers. And um, I, it, I don't know, it's a fit. Thank you so you. friggin' much. You had so much more, I could barely, I'd do it, but it but so now I'm ready. Can we do another week? Yes. Well, you have time. I mean, this is why you know we have a lot of space to go back. And the cool thing about the love adventures are, I mean, 
I always try to make them short and I think I still did extend the last one to about 17 minutes, but still, you know, you could binge the love adventures <laughs> in still probably just about a little more than an hour. And, and so go back and do them. The other thing is for those of you who were, you know, like on it, every day go back and do one again just follow your instincts about what might want to happen again because the beautiful part about this process is you know your body's going to reveal something different every time because it's a new time and space so um i love that so i am so glad you were here sarah i felt you here the whole time so so i i'm really grateful so enjoy camp i will again Yes, I'm psyched you're here. So who else? I see Both Sue. Of you. Oh, you're welcome. Sue has her hand up and Amber maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, go ahead. Aloha. Maybe Amber and then Sue, I can unmute you. Oh my gosh, look at the goddess on the island. Uh -huh. Aloha. All the camp colors, the whole space is camp colors. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. Thank you so much, Macy, um, for this incredible experience. Love Camp is such um, a beautiful gift, your generosity of spirit to really bring people together at this time that can be, you know, very button pushing for people the holidays. And as well as the end of the year, looking at the things that we want to create going forward and even this end of a decade now for us as we step into 2020. And so I really want to thank you. This was such a magnificent experience. My heart is full. I don't have the um, holiday blues, not even the light depth freak out because love is such a great filler. And what you've done here is magnificent. And thank you to all of the participants. It really is this um, beautiful container that we co-create and it's so safe and rich and profound and loving. So thank you everyone. And thank you so much, Macy and Larry. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Amber. Thank it was you. so amazing to have you. And I hope that you are continue to be on Love Camp staff moving forward. It's so lovely. I love it. And we're going to be talking. So I'm excited because um, we have more to come. So thank you so much. You are magical. Um, awesome. Who else? Sue, if you are wanting to chat, let me see. And, and Cindy, I want you to come on and say a little something because I, I want to thank you personally too um, for your, your amazing hospitality at camp too. Oh my gosh, I forgot why I told you to bring the piece of paper and pen. We need to do that just briefly and it's, you can take it with you, but here's the deal. You have this piece of paper and this <clears throat> pen this is your time for an award ceremony. You are amazing. So rather than me give awards, what we want to do, what Carl and I decided, because Carl's sponsoring the awards portion, is on your piece of paper, at the bottom, put, um, brought to you by Carl Johnson Insurance, Love Camp Award on the top, somewhere, however you want to do it, however you want to put it, and this is um, celebrating you and acknowledging you for something at camp. And your Im imagination is going to bring forward what that is. So please do create your Love Camp Award. And you get to put a seal on it. You get to put squigglies or flowers or you know, love camp colors all over it. But we do ask you to put brought to you by CJ Insurance, just because, you know, I think we're obligated. I think, right, we're under contract, right? So um, put that on there. And so that is something I invite you to do. I think it's so fun, like, 
amazingly fun to make an award for yourself. So fun. So, but listen to your imagination because your head is not going to tell you what your imagination wants you to know. So you may even reflect on all those five days and like, what was that biggest breakthrough? What was that aha? And name it for yourself. So yay. All right. Natalie says, thank you so much, Macy, for this great experience. I had a huge breakthrough. I'm still processing. It's a biggie. Oh my God. Oh, Carl just fell off the chair. Oops. Um, I appreciate that I experienced it here. Love you, sister. Thank you. Everyone who contributed to this snowboard experience. Oh my gosh. Yay. So happy about that. Okay. And then Sarah said, I forgot to share with you that sea otter is... <laughs> It's my spirit animal. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so Cindy, do you want to pop on and just say hello really quick? You don't have to. Um, and Sue, if you're wanting to um, say something, post in the comments and I can unmute you because I saw your hand go up. Um, so where is sea otter? There she is. I it is not funny that somebody has a sea otter. It's not funny that somebody has a sea otter as their spirit animal. What do you think is amazing? Huh? That is the magic that is that is you and that sea otters bring. We love them. And there are many Thank sea you, otters. Cindy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for all you did at the waterfront. I'm so excited to do that. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, Sarah. Thank you. You Thank got you. the I mean, Hank actually would took a lot of those pictures. He did, he's really like shy, but he does a really good job around camp. Very <laughs> subtle. And then he shows up and takes these amazing pictures of you in the water. I, you guys must have a special relationship because that underwater picture was pretty phenomenal. Okay, you're on mute and you're talking. I don't even know who Hank is. Hank is this guy up there. Yeah. It's completely yeah. over he's my head. Everywhere right now. I mean, but he just—he's—he's he's one of those introvert extrovert types, you know, which I I kind of relate to. Like he can be the out there, but he does need a lot of alone time. So, um, to recharge, like almost all year. So, you know, you spend <laughs> a lot of this time. But not so much. Huh? Actually, we ran into him and he was like, he was a little hot. I know he made us take a picture with him, but I'm like, dude, Hank, 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 weird. Okay, but it was fine. We did. We did. <laughs> I'll post it. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll post. We need to post that in the room. That was great. Um, okay, so. Is it my turn? Is it my turn? Yes, so. Please. Oh, yes, bring it. Okay. In the spirit of practicing, expressing our needs and concerns, we have been on assignment having to do with favoritism in the manure, whatever. We found out that uh, I know we're not, I know there's more than what I even found out in my investigations. I've had all my little love muffins here helping. Oh, really? Uh-huh, we found out some things that they had in the manure, in the manure, we didn't get. What, what was that? Well, to start with, big screen TV, I don't care about TV, but some of the other unicorns like TV. Happen to yes, like TV. there's one in the program lodge behind the and what lodge. about what about a hot tub in the manure? Okay, okay, that was just because that was the real estate that was available when we chose the manure. And you know what? Next year, you know, <laughs> obviously there's a desire because I had the same feeling I needed to go streaking over to Camp Kinky to get my hot I dog. saw that picture, so, by the way. <laughs> and you know how much my body needs a hot tub. Yeah, well, there also, oh. there's a smaller hot tub at the infirmary. For smaller, okay. <laughs> and, and furthermore, 
they had soft yet supportive lumbar pillows. Do you know how much I need? Okay, well, you know what? On your letter to your counselor next year, please do make these requests. I really do love this feedback. Make these requests. Because you know what? There's nothing that we can't have at Love Camp. Do you realize that? Have you noticed that? A sizable fridge was reported back to me, and I have this on my documentation. A sizable yeah. fridge. They didn't have to run and race Larry to the buffet line. Yes. Okay. In, in the manure. Yes. Whatever. So, so, well, I hope that you have the confidence in, in the Love Camp team. Yes, massages. Up Stephanie. We will have, yes, we've got it. We've got it. So I will ask, I will ask for your feedback. I will ask for your ideas. I will be sending out a um a feedback form, which truly, truly, truly for real life, like I really do want to hear what we can do for camp next year. The guys I, had the guys had little manicure things with hot water. <laughs> It was reported well, back at, and they had you at him. wait a minute macy he was working with toxic chemicals in the scrap shop oh, all day oh, all week, so i haven't gotten to laser beam larry yet oh. we're still working on favoritism from the love coach well i hope that you feel like you had a luxurious time <laughs> minus the manicure minus the lumbar pillow and minus not having hot tubs at every cabin, which we will do next year. And by the way, I did bring my own sheets, you know, and they were flannel because I like the soft, cuddly stuff. Well, that's sissy. a good idea. But the other sisters didn't have, uh, they had beer. Actually, I heard that they had beers and stars, soft, cuddly, flannel sheets. They see. Well, okay. You, you, I'm busted. I've been busted all camp. So, um, yeah, Natalie. In music says, studio. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. Shenan next year, I feel like I'm going to have to have extra security because it sounds like shenanigans are already bubbling. So. Because, because <laughs> um, during the craft time, Laser Beam Larry said, ladies, plug in your glue guns. What, well, and then, so we plug them in. He goes, okay, well, by the way, while they're warming up, I have an errand to do. He dismisses himself for quite a long time. And I'm got my wheels turning, you know, like I do. And I said, well, where is laser? We're waiting for our glue guns to warm up for one hour. He comes back. I see his little nails trim and shiny. He was in the manure doing the little nail thing. You know the old commercial with Madge and the. I get it. I get it. To be continued on the feedback form, and let me just go and see if we if if I have I had a loyalty to my sisters. I I appreciate your spirit, your camp spirit. But we had fun. We had fun. Yes. I hope so. I really hope you had fun. So thank you, everyone. This has been such an amazing year. Thanks and again. We will, we will see you again next year. Make sure you spread the word. Make sure you tell your friends. Make sure you sign up for time with me if you are ready to love camp all year round. And we will... We will see you. I'm here. I'm still here and we'll we'll continue to get to know each other better. So thank you so much everyone. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Love, Love you, you all. all. Bye. You Make sure you say hi to Hank and repeat the wording of the pledge every time. Bye. He's he's Cindy's secret admirer. <laughs> <laughs>